This video is sponsored by Trugo Republic, the precious metals experts. Talk to one of their experts today about diversifying your portfolio to help assure your future financial security. Find their contact information in the description below and pinned in our first comment. James Kaufman, World News Report today. Today is July 7th, 2024. 7-7, seven, seven, by the way. God bless you and yours, no matter where you are in the world. Please subscribe, give us a thumbs up, ring that bell for critical future updates. It's actually the 8th UTC time. Now, ladies and gentlemen, to me, it looks like we had three M flares today. One here at around 20 UTC time right before that time another one here closer to 2130 utc time and another one here an m 2.49 is what they're calling it this says 2.47 but they're saying we actually had more m flares and they're talking about this situation right here i'm going to show you all where it came from and my gut feeling is it created a chrome mass ejection. We're going to look for that and that it's inbound. All right, ladies and gentlemen, you guys know we're always first in line. Uh, we see that an M2.49, we'll call it an M2.5, popped off. They're saying that between 1938, you can see that this is all part of the same event by the times. As one ends one begins 42 42 54 54 so they're actually reporting five m class solar flares all between 1938 and 2204 really after that because we have an m 2.49 that occurred just after that probably started at 2204 and they all came from the same sunspot beta gamma sunspot not delta, but beta gamma 37, 38 that you see also created the C8 and other C flares earlier in the day. We're still running a C5.12. We've been maintaining a C class baseline all day as usual. We only had a 5% chance of X flare. I believe that might increase tomorrow. There's only a 40% chance of an M flare. And again, we've just had five of them. You have to throw in the M2.49, we'll call it an M2.5. Again, all created from or expelled from Sunspot AR3738, Beta Gamma. No Delta yet, but it's coming. Over to HMI Intense Gram, we see 3738. It's expelled all of these solar flares and perhaps several coronal mass ejections today. We'll look at Lasco C3 in just a moment. Today, we've basically dealt with nine Earth-facing sunspot groups. And I guess the most dangerous would be 3738 because it produced every flare that they've counted as a solar flare. We actually have some enormous sunspots coming around from the backside of the sun, which should scare us all to death. All right, taking a look at that sunspot here can see that it's responsible for all the big flares, including the M2.49 that just occurred. That is it right there. We also see that we have a crawl hole that will be Earth-facing within about 40 hours. So we could have an uptick not only in plasma via all these eruptions, but also in solar wind. We can also see the glow coming around the limb meaning we have several enormous sunspots coming around the limb that I will soon show you. All right, over to Lasco C3, we should expect any type of chrome mass ejections to be coming from this area of the sun. You can see that something has impacted the camera at 742 today, UTC time. That would have been 1242, uh, well, a.m. after midnight this morning on the 7th here centrally. I'm going to play this through and see if anything comes out. There's the impact. See if anything comes out. The 
seven o'clock position. I don't really see anything. Also looking for missing time. As you all know how that goes. It looks like most of the time is here. And I don't see any coronal mass ejections according to Lasco C3. And you know, we can trust NOAA about as far as we can throw, well, one of their spaceships or, well, ships. Let's just call them that. All right, talk about a long term event. Started around 2100 UTC time. Now, ladies and gentlemen, it's going to be 4 p.m. Central. Looks like we got the peak here about 22.22 UTC time. And very close to that time, about 22.30. We knew that, and it starts to fade off. Those are the combination of the five M-class solar flares that they're counting that I said look more like three. And you can see that there's actually more action happening here at 3.07 on the 8th UTC time, which would have been about 10.07 Central Time here in the U.S. Now, right now, we are, well, I said we we're taking a break, but at 4.42, at 11.42, which is only a few moments ago, we had another strong sea flare. All right, over to STO. I'm going to step it up here. We're looking right here at this Sunspot group. And we should see several flares. You can see one there, one there, and there should be a strong one right there, and additional solar, well, explosions. Look at these filaments. Very strange. That's it, 193 angstroms. We'll take another quick look at today's action. Again, all from AR. 3738. Very active, but what's coming around the limb, as you will soon see, is going to be horrific. All right, we'll move over to 171 angstroms, watching 3738 here. I don't know if it's going to be as easy to see. Well, it's maybe easier. You can see the flaring happening right here. I would imagine these flares would have an earth component to them. We are picking them up on our goes. We are seeing the D region absorption prediction, the radiation hitting our planet. And I think everyone can see all the activity coming around the limb here. Let's take a look at what's coming around the limb. All right, taking a look at the back side of the sun. It's fairly complex. We have a huge sunspot group we've probably seen before. 010 here. 017 here, we can see them on the actual gong here. It's a composite. Remember, this is a day and a half old, so this is all going to come into play probably tomorrow morning. We also have 018. You can barely see it right here. Then we have 019. This has got to be 019 here. And then we have 020. You can see all of those sunspots on gong down here. So... We've got a, well, a lot of action coming around the limb. Over to STO HMI magnetogram. This was actually taken on the 8th. And it looks like it was taken at 3000 UTC time, which would have been 10 p.m. Central here. So about a little bit, uh, about two hours ago. This sunspot that keeps producing all the flares is reverse polarity. They say four one thousands of one percent of reverse polarity. Well, almost every sunspot that's producing anything is reverse polarity. How do we know? White over black, southern hemisphere, positive over negative. And I would argue that this is black over white, northern hemisphere, also reverse polarity. This is STO HMI magnetogram image taken just a few hours ago. To finish us off uh, with this report, this was taken at 8.06 on the 7th of July. It's now the 8th officially central time here. And we can see what's coming around the limb here. We also can see this coral hole that may be effective towards Earth here in about 40 hours when it's Earth facing. Actually, after that, it'll take an additional 40 hours for the solar winds to get here. 
So we're looking at three or four days off. It looks like we have a coronal hole here as well, although we don't see that on some of the other models for sure. Again, this is the reverse polarity sunspot. So is this and whatever's coming around the limb. Uh, well, we've already seen is horrific. That said, God bless each and every one of y'all. Please share. Please subscribe. Please ask me any questions that you have in the comments below. Please give us a thumbs up. And always remember that anything's possible in Bizarro World. God bless you.